11 News is learning more about the victims who died in the horrific multi-car crash Wednesday. It happened on Bel Air Road near Brendan Avenue in Northeast Baltimore. Police say 68-year-old Sharon Warsham and her 9-year-old grandson Xavier Dukes died at the scene. They were in the red Chevy Equinox along with another grandson who survived. This is devastating. It's a great loss to this family. The deceased was a very integral part of the family. She was the glue in so many words. Dr. Tim Tootin is the pastor of Harvest Christian Ministries. He is a former 11 News employee who knows the victim's family. I talked with one of the daughters, uh, the mother of the two children, and she said that she had just left out to take them to school saying, I've got this. And of course, that was the last time that she saw her. The Baltimore City Police crash team is still investigating what caused the four vehicles to collide, but say speed was a factor. Part of the crash was picked up on a doorbell camera. The homeowner has turned over the video to police, and police tell 11 News while they can confirm at least one vehicle was speeding, they are also looking to other possible issues to see if a medical emergency or anything else contributed. They say since the beginning of this year, 11 fatal crashes have occurred in Baltimore. Last year, there were 43 total fatal crashes. Very proud of those grandkids. When she would come to church, they would be there. Dr. Tutin says the family is grateful to those who came from their homes to help, including a priest from the Shrine of the Little Flower Catholic Church. I still have a lot of my own feelings to process from that. It's so visceral. It's so, uh, you know, it's just so quick. You just kind of react. And then afterwards is when you can really uh, process your feelings, which is really important to do. Three others were taken to area hospitals following the crash. Police tell us it will take some time before they complete their investigation. Reporting from Northeast Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.